Day was the annual 263rd annual, we should say, New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade. Millions of people lining up along Fifth Avenue to get a shot of the action and to celebrate Irish heritage as marchers made their way up the parade route. Fox 5's Michelle Ross has more on the celebration. drums and a sea of green marching up Fifth Avenue can only mean one thing. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is here and on this day everyone is Irish. My cousins are Irish so I feel like an honorary Irish. The parade is usually on March 17th but because it falls on a Sunday this year the parade is held the day before to observe Sunday Sabbath and it's the 263rd annual parade making it the longest running St. Patrick's Day Parade in the world dating back to 1762. That's 14 years before the United States became a country. And to this day, it has stayed a true marchers parade because floats and cars are not allowed. 150,000 marchers made their way up from 44th Street to 79th Street as millions of people watched from the sidelines, no matter their age. Many beaming with Irish pride. I wouldn't want to be anything else. Come on, Dublin! This year's Grand Marshal is Ireland native Maggie Timoney, CEO and president of Heineken USA. The first first female chief executive of a major beer company in the country. And with that being said, lots of people have similar plans for after the parade. Go to some pubs and get some good beer. Guinness. <laughs> Start pints. Awesome. Try the shamrock. So whether you're Irish or of a different background, the St. Patrick's Day Parade is a fun time for all, as proven by the millions of people who came out to celebrate here in person. Reporting on Fifth Avenue at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.